happy today. Okay. <laughs> we are really happy today to be able to share everything that we have to offer. Many people wonder what we have to offer and how they can take advantage of the membership, right? But today, thanks to Citizen, we will be here able to share with you all the little details, how you can access the information from our members, how you can uh, pay attention or how you can promote activities that you are hosting or that you are doing and how we can support each other. As we call us Familia, we are here to help small business owners to grow. Uh, membership is just one part of the uh, benefits, but uh, we teach the classes. Right now we are teaching the HTTP. Let's will start soon. I saw the announcement for the bonding readiness class that is already during the summer. We have the summer series. And also remember that many of the activities that we host are coordinating in order for the students that take the classes and graduate from the classes to take advantage of all the opportunities. June 14, we have the Health and Wellness Expo. And July 18, we are having the Hispanic Business Expo. Those are like uh, activities that drive a lot of traffic that a lot of our members take the opportunity. And one thing is that we see the progress. We see the progress from the day that the, the entrepreneur attended for the first time and the second time. And, you know, we see that they are, they feel more, more comfortable, that they they learn how to work the booth. They, they take advantage of the database that they are able to develop during the event. They feel more comfortable following up with the people that attend. And remember that this is about farming. It's not about hunting. This is developing relationships with business owners, professionals, and organizations that can support us. At the Chamber, we focus on four subjects, access to capital, access to new markets, access to networks, and since the pandemic, the digital gap. Um, access to capital is the most important need. That's why we have a financial institution like Citizen as sponsor today, because business owners, even when they are just when they just consider a business idea, they always have need for access to capital. And every time that they grow, they may need more. But the other activities are, are also important. Remember that the best way to finance your business is through your customers and that, that you are able to reach out to uh, different markets. Being procurement, one opportunity with government agencies and with corporations. And today we receive an email from big corporation here in New Jersey asking for contractors in the HABC uh, world because they are looking to hire our members for that type of projects. Um, I just want to mention that we have uh, AIXA, Erika, the entire team, they are the ones who do all the work. <laughs> they are the ones that deserve the credit for everything that we do. She has a blackboard that if your name is there, you may do what she asked for. And everybody look at that blackboard like <laughs> on stress out. But it's for a, for a good reason. That's the only way that uh, we are able to deliver what we promise. And our business model is really simple. It's focus on results. If we promise something to George and we deliver what we promise, he may call us again. But if we, and, and we say no sometimes when we feel that we won't be able to deliver what they are expecting from us. It's not about the money. Money helps, especially when we need to pay for vendors and, and venues and food and other good things. But the most important thing is that if we offer you that we will have X amount of people here that they attend, they participate, and that we are able to reach out to our members. Remember, we are over 140,000 Latino small business owners in the state of New Jersey. Our GDP is $97 billion. We are not a number to ignore. 
Latinas start businesses six times faster than businesses six times faster than any other ethnic group. And we are run by Latinas. Most, Danilo and Kevin are the only two men on the team. <laughs> they are ruled by Aixa and Erica and Hope and everybody. And at the board, we have 50% of the members of our board are women that they also help us to be on track. And this is everything that I have. I don't know if I miss something. I may get a text for Aixa if that happened, but I just wanted to know <laughs> Danilo, who is, uh, or Aixa, do you want to join and do you want to say some words? Yeah, give give me a minute, Danilo, before you you start. Um, good afternoon, everyone. I'm the Aixa that Luis has been talking about. Uh, I'm the VP of operations for the chamber. And I'm very happy to see so many people um, in this room because we wanted to do this and we hadn't had the time to do it. And um, this year we wanted to start the year on the right foot. Uh, I want to thank you, Citizens Bank, because they have been great sponsoring this um, first meet and greet. The goal is to uh, do this more often, probably once a quarter, and to um, use this space to explain to our members and non-members what we offer, what tools we have for the members, what events we have for the members, and how we can help you access all the pillars and all the, the um, things that Luis uh, already explained. So Danilo will be sharing with you um, a lot of information. Feel free to ask questions. If you think that um, you need additional information, feel free to send us an email. We're always willing to explain and guide you um, through any of the process um, that we have. The main goal is for you to engage, ask questions, and, and use this opportunity to understand how we fit into your business and how we can help you grow and access networks, opportunities, capital, and all of those things that businesses in, in New Jersey need. So with I all can... of that said, yeah, Luis. <laughs> I just want to mention something. Don't expect that we will be able to call you and say, China, you are in need of this. If you don't reach out and if you don't help us to understand what you need, we may not be able to help you, right? But when with uh, Maria Sparcio, with Judy, Gina, Erica, everybody, if you take the time to reach out and say, this is what I need for my business. This is the individual that I, I want to know, George. I want to know Flo, I want to know Hector, Byron, Luz, you know, that's the only way that we will be able to help you, right? We may look like brujos, but if you don't help <laughs> us, we don't read minds. Feel free to ask. Sometimes it's too much. Sometimes it's not a favor. It's a full-time job, but you never know. Things happen and we are able to make those things happen for our members. And we really... We, we really enjoy when one of the members reach out and send an email and say, hey, thank you for the introduction. Look what happened. My business is on a different level due to that event, due to that activity, due to what I learned or what I met, right? And remember, we are here for the networking. Your classmate from the HTTP or from Let's can become your investor, can become your best partner, can become your customer they will open doors that we don't have open for you yet. Thank you very much. Now, and, and Danilo will explain all the tools we have that can help you. Uh, Daniela posted on the chat the, the email for the chamber. So make sure you have that email and you can send us any question. If we cannot solve or help you, we will refer you to someone that we know that might be able to help you. So we are a community, we are a familia. And with all that said, Danilo, you can take over. Thank you. Thank you, Aisa. And thank you, Luis, um, for the introduction and the kind words. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Danilo Melan, project manager at the Statewide Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of New Jersey. I've been working with the organization for almost seven years. 
um, wearing different hats, as we say. I've been supporting the, the organization in the special projects, membership, um, different events and programs well, that we have here in the chamber. And Joe Biden. All right. So yeah, I'm supporting the chamber in different aspects and most importantly, supporting our members. So I'm happy to see here uh, members from different levels that we have. I see some corporate partners here. I see some individuals members, some students from the educational programs and some non-members that are also interested in joining the chamber. So, and that's why um, we come up with this uh, great idea that we have in um, working since last year to having those quarterly meetings where we all connect, we engage, we also answer questions. We wanted to make sure everybody knows the benefits of joining the chamber and most importantly, how to use them. Uh, Cause sometimes we don't know um, how to use the tools that we have here at the chamber. So that's the purpose of those meetings um, that we will be planning this year. So I welcome everybody. And with that being said, let me share my screen. So we're gonna start with the presentation. Can everyone see my screen? Yes, you're good, Danilo. All right, thank you. So basically we already covered this first slide. Um, we are, we're a non-profit organization with over 30 years um, supporting businesses in New Jersey. We represent 120,000 Hispanic owned businesses that contribute over 90 billion of the state economy. Um, the mission statement we accomplished it uh, through th three different um, um, principles, which is access to capital, as Luis explained it, uh, also allowing opportunities to connect and engage throughout the different events that we have. We have six signature events that we run every year and also in partnership with different organizations and sponsors, we have been able to provide some other networking events throughout the state. And the other one is uh, providing education and an educational platform for business owners where we provide free mentorship and we also have different courses available for those that wanted to take their businesses to the next level. And also we have a great engagement in, in Bridge. Um, we had different media partners that they help us to promote the events and engage with the community. We have the Shaira Show, Que Pasa New Jersey, El ROI, Americano Newspaper, Negocios Hispanos, Que Pasa New Jersey, Poder Latino. And we're constantly looking for new partners so that way we can put um, our work out and not only ours, but also different initiatives that our partners and members have for the community. Let me go to the next slide. Uh, this is an overview of the members' uh, benefits. This is part of the membership uh, package that we have. I'm just gonna go over the most common uh, benefits that are included in all the membership levels. Um, we have a bi-weekly newsletter that we send out twice a month. So that's part of the benefits that you as a corporation, as an organization can take advantage of that. You can always send us content to be shared with the community. So we usually collect information at the very beginning of the month, and then we use that information to be posted on the newsletter uh, during that month, which is twice um, during that period. Um, with that, also you have access to Chamber Master and Member Zone, which is the members portal. I'm gonna do a demo right after the presentation so you can see how to navigate the members portal. Um, this, is, this is really important for us as a member because that's the site where you can post your information, not only uh, marketing materials, but you can also share any job opportunities, any events, any promotion, any hot deals that you would like to share with our members, you can do it through the members portal. And that is also gonna be posted on the website. What it, what it means is not only be shared with just members, but it will be also open to the public. So whoever goes to the website, they will see the information there. And plus we add that information also to the newsletter. Um, on the members portal, there is also a directory. So having your information up to date is really important 
because that's the way to go where we direct new um, members that they ask for referrals. We usually ask them to visit our directory where you can put all your information, office address, phone number, email. Um, so please make sure you also update that information. You have more employees and representatives that you would like to be listed there from different departments. You can also do that. And at the same time, if you're looking for any potential connections and, and to connect and engage with some other members, you can also do that through the members portal. Because of the mem because of the chamber's policy, we're not allowed to share the database. So we're not sharing their the, the information, but there is a way where you can reach out to, to our members and I'm gonna show you how to do that. So that way, if the other person, the other member, is interested, they can reply back to you and that way you establish the communication and you get in touch with that person. And membership for us. So I'm gonna start sharing my screen, so I'm gonna go over the demo. Just give me one second. <clears throat> All right, before I go the, to the demo, I'm gonna show a video so you can see how the membership portal works. Now members have a new and powerful tool, the Member Information Center. These member-only tools give our members greater control over their business and brand name. What can the Member Information Center do for you and your business? First. You can access the Member Information Center through our website or download the mobile version, the Member Plus mobile app for both Apple and Android. The Member Information Center allows you to maximize your membership and extend the reach of your business brand, thereby bringing in more of your target customers. It impacts your long-term success by allowing you to leverage the advantage your chamber has on the web and the relationships within your business network. The Member Plus app allows you to tell your business story, connect with other members, register and check in at events, pay your invoices quickly and easily, saving you time and money, and increase your customer reach, all for free. Let's see an example of how it works. This is Bob. Bob is the owner of a brand new corner market. Bob joined the chamber to meet and network with other local business owners to grow his business and to market more easily. What makes Bob unique is his convenient location, unique products, and service-oriented team. Bob wants to host a meet and greet at his store. Using the Member Plus app, he is able to create the event and upload a photo right from his mobile device. The event may be promoted on Facebook or Twitter upon staff approval, all by using the content created using the Member Plus mobile app. He can add hot deals or member-to-member -member deals to be used on the day of the event. And he can even create a job posting right in the app for that new hire he will need to handle the anticipated growth. When members attend Bob's event, they can comment on and like each other's posts in the members-only community feed and spread the word to their friends, reaching twice the audience that Bob could reach on his own. Additionally, Bob can log in to the Member Information Center to manage his online business profile on the Chamber's website. Here he can update his directory listing with the current description, hours of operation, and contact information. He can make his listing stand out by adding his logo, additional photos, video, and an expanded description. To further promote his business, he may contact the Chamber about posting an ad on targeted pages. Bob can also check if he has any outstanding invoices and pay his fees online. In his pursuit of personal development, he can keep an eye out in the resource area, where the Chamber adds interesting web pages, documents, videos, and other valuable resources for members. Start by downloading the Member Plus app from the Apple or Play Stores today. You can also log in through the Chamber's website or contact the Chamber and ask how you can take advantage of these amazing member benefits.
Wix is your platform. All right. So yeah, as, as you were explaining in the video, um, the platform that we have is a tool that we have for all of our members. So please make sure um, you take advantage of that opportunity because I think that is key, especially with the directory portion. So that's how you know your information is gonna be available for other members to connect and to reach out to your company and for your services as well. So let me share my screen and I'm gonna show you how to get there. Um, before that, uh, let's make clear that this is a benefit used for active members. So make sure you have to you have your membership um, up to date. Otherwise, when the membership expires, the credit the credential you lose the credential, so you may not be able to join until you renew your membership. Um, if for some reason you haven't used, you're an active member and you still haven't explored uh, the, the member's portal, you can send us an email. And what we can do is we can internally go to the settings and resend the email, which is pretty much the initial email that you receive when you activate your membership. It's, the, it's part of the welcome email. So it comes with a link. And with that link, you can create uh, your login and password. So let me share my screen one more time and I'm gonna show you how to get there. Can you see my screen? Okay. Yes. We All right, perfect. So this is the, our website. There is an option here. There is a tab under membership, login. So you should go there membership login and then it's going to ask you for your username and password which is the by using the link the initial email that you receive when you get the welcome email you should be able to create your username and password if you don't have one just let us know um via email and we can resend that link to you so you can um go to the settings and activate your, your username and password once you have that you just log in and then you will see um this main page uh which is the one that they show in the video where you can see as you can see here we have recently um received some posts from some members that they like to share information so this information is usually gonna be posted here but it also goes uh to the newsletter so you can there are two ways that you can do that you can do it your own by logging into the account and you know adding the information or you can always contact us and send us the information. Uh, so if you have any graphic, any hyperlink for any information that you would like to share, you can also share, uh, share it with us via email. But in the portal, you have like personal information. So make sure you add your information here. You create your profile. You can upload photos. There is also a company uh, information so here you can include company name, primary phone number, email address, um, the physical address, and there's additional information you would like to share, uh, full-time employees, part-time employees, established dates, you can upload your logos, you can upload some photos if you'd like to share, videos. <clears throat> so it's a very uh, robust platform where you can I include a lot of content information. So I my recommendation is the more information you have, uh, the more visible uh, will be for our members. You can add employees here. So as you can see, we have the whole team here listed here. You can add representatives from different offices, different locations. And the reason why this is important is they all get, um, uh, uh, they all get the members benefits. So if you add your employees here, they all get the invitations to attend our events. They all get into the database. They get a special offers. When sometimes we have our partners that they want to, they have some giveaways or tickets for our members. So they will get that information as well. And to join some of our networking events as well and member discounts. So again, if you're having some issues, you can also send the information via email and we can have you, we can guide you through the process as well. Then we have the directory, which is the one that they were explaining. Um, let me show you 
this is the way it looks when it has all the information. If you have the address there, it will include the Google Maps and also the representatives. So you can see here we have um, different members from the team. We have Luz de la Hose, Danilo, Tatiana Orozco, which is one of the program coach, Hope, Reina. So let's say that I, I'd like to send, uh, that, that i like to contact uh, Luis de la Oz, our president. So he's here and you, you have the option to send him an email. So you click on send him an email. And because again, because of the policy, we're not allowed to share a data, the data, but you should be able to send him a message. So you can write subject, you can write the email and send it to him. So he, he will get the email and then he can reply back to you. Is that's how you connect with that with that person and with the member? And for those who haven't been able to update your information, so that's why I recommend you to have your information up to date. So that way it's accurate here. Um, and that information is also gonna be listed on our website. So for those who are not member and they're looking for some, you know, some connections. If they go over our website, um, we also have the directory on the website, members directory. And here we have the list. So if I write statewide, this one in Chamber of Commerce. So my information is also listed here with all the contact the contacts that I have in the database. You can also, when you are the employees, you can also, there is a um a box when you can mark whether you want them to be displayed on the website or not. So if you don't want to be displayed on their website, you can still add your employees to the database so they get all member benefits, but they won't be shown here. Just the representatives that you would like to be listed here will be um, um, in the directory in the website. And then we have the events. You can also create your own event. You, you can also see the other members' events. Um, once you start being very active, it's also going to uh, provide some reports for you, some resources. Right now, we don't have any available from our members. Um, and the news, which is pretty much uh, press releases and hot deals. We have four hot deals. So they are listed here from our members. And again, that information is always listed on their website as well. So Basically, that's um, our members portal. As I can say, you can access to it uh, using our website on their membership tab, or you can uh, request uh, the team to send you the email again with the link to create your login credentials. But this is pretty much uh, how it looks. You can also download the app. It is called Member Plus, so you can have it on your cell phone and your smartphone. So let me stop sharing here. So I'm gonna go back to the presentation. Um, if you have some questions, feel free to put it in the chat um, and we can go over those questions at the end of the presentation. I saw while I was uh, playing the video, one question that I think is really important. It says like non-Hispanic can also join the chamber. Definitely, yes, you can. Uh, we are open to different um, administrators and groups. Uh, we not only, um, you know, Hispanic business owners, but we also have non-Hispanic corporations, organizations, and members that they would like to do businesses with the Hispanic community and also to connect and engage with the Hispanic market. So for those who are not Hispanic, yes, you can also join. You can also attend our events. Um, sometimes non-Hispanics may think that all, all of our uh, events and programs are in Spanish. And that's not the case. We are, most of our members are fully bilingual, but we always provide simultaneous translations in almost all of our programs. And during the events, we're fully bilingual. So let me go back to the um, this slides. Hold on one second. All right. And talking about member benefits. So I'm gonna pass on to my colleague, um, Chloe Fernandez, who is gonna share with you what we have next, what we have in the pipeline. We have some upcoming events and we also have some 
uh, programs uh, available right now. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. I'm Chloe. So for the upcoming events, we have two, as mentioned earlier, we have the Health and Wellness Fair, which will happen uh, this June 14th, 8.30 at St. Peter's University. So um, this event will bring in people who are in healthcare. So if you have, or if you are interested in having a healthy lifestyle, so there are healthcare professionals who's going to join this event. So that's really good for you guys. And then we have the Ferreira, the Negotius, which is on uh, July 18th, Find Manor. So if you have any questions at all with regards to these two events, you can email us. Um, that's basically in the um, like in the chat, uh, chat group. So yeah. And for the I'm sorry, Daniela, can you go to the next? Yeah. So for the educational programs that we have, um, we have LED, which stands for the Latina Entrepreneurship Training uh, Series. So this program is an eight-week uh, virtual technical training, which focuses on business plan, uh, marketing, finance, and so much more. So if you are interested, class starts at June 8th, uh, June 7th, rather, and we are now accepting applications. So again, if you have any questions at all, you can just drop us uh, an email or message or call us so we can assist you. And um, the next one is the NJEDA, which stands for New Jersey Economic Development Authority. This program focuses on helping small businesses who want to learn what is funding, how to get funding, and the benefits of having funding. So yeah, if again, you are interested, applications, we are accepting applications now, and uh, class starts next week, which is April 4th. And Lastly, we have the NJNEP. This is also a program for those, any individuals who wants to pursue, um, what do you call this, man manufacturing careers. So if you are interested, you can just uh, apply, send us an application. If you have any questions at all, we can uh, accommodate you, just drop us a message, and then we can help you out. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Chloe. Now I'm gonna pass it on to Luis de la Oz. Again. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Otra vez. Okay. Next we have Jorge, right? No, we, we're gonna have a uh, Citizens Bank that they also um as a sponsor, they have a great opportunity for business owners. And that's why it is important having those meetings to engage with the community and share those, you know, that information. So we have George Cruz and his team also here joining. They have a very good program for business owners that they would like also to share with the community and with our members. Thank you, George, for joining us. And I think Ashley is here too. Yeah, so Ashley and Alexa from the uh, New Jersey Devils uh, is, is is joining us. And um, um, uh, so I want to just thank uh, Luis um, and Danilo and the full uh, chamber team for giving, giving us the um, the opportunity to be a part of today's um, uh, membership meeting, um, you know, engaging the uh, Latino, um, engaging Latino community overall is a company-wide priority. And <clears throat> certainly when it comes to engaging uh latino owned uh businesses um is also very much um an enterprise uh, wide community not just here in new jersey but across our entire uh, our entire footprint so uh, i'm going to be really super fast because the two smarter and more important people are about to um uh, about to talk here and i'm going to drop my uh, my email address and my cell number in the chat room because i like to uh, uh, continue to engage um, the folks that 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 are here. Uh, we have a fantastic uh, a business uh, a banking team. Uh, we have branches in um, 14 of New Jersey's 21 counties um, at this point, particularly given the the recent acquisition of Investor Savings Bank at the Mid Atlantic branches of HSBC. Um, 
our retail um, banking team is also fantastic at the branch level. So I'd love to engage you directly to figure out how we can work um, uh, collaboratively uh, uh, with you and, uh, and certainly want to expand and grow the relationship with the, uh, with the chamber. Uh, but we know that um, any sort of progress there is entirely based on partnerships um, and the partnership with the chamber will help us better connect with uh, Latino owned small businesses. Um, uh, and we've also had this fantastic partnership with um, the uh, the New Jersey Devils, um, who've been uh, an amazing collaborator, who have uh, worked with us to establish a number of uh, initiatives uh, benefiting the small business uh, community. We got these great food initiatives. Uh, we're doing some fantastic things with um, uh, with the New Jersey Devils. We're not just collecting their checks and depositing their money. We happen to be their bank. Uh, but uh, we uh, are also doing some wonderful uh, things that in turn are translating to, um, you know, direct impact uh, for the other uh, business community. So in particular tonight, we want to talk about the Jersey Shops Initiative. And from there, I'm going to turn it over to my my colleague, um, Ashley and, uh, and Alexa. Hey, thanks so much, George. Appreciate it. Hi, everybody. My name is Ashley Timbechin. I'm on the sponsorship team at Citizens Bank. And with me is Alexa. Hi everyone, um, I'm Alexa. I um, am here at the New Jersey Devils. I work on the Citizen uh, Citizens Partnership. Um, very familiar with um, a lot of folks over there and just it's really great to be here today to speak to you guys about um, our Jersey Shops program. So Ashley shared um, the screen. If everybody sees the QR code at the bottom, feel free to scan um, at any point. So yeah, so the Jersey Shops program is designed to highlight and support our local small businesses here in New Jersey. Um, with citizens, we um, work on selecting businesses that we think, you know, we're trying to help these small businesses grow throughout a multitude of different assets. Um, and so the process is our promotion period is through October through April. Um, you really just submit all of your information. We take a look, we pick from a bunch of different categories. Um, we love connecting um, with these small businesses, getting you know your small business in front of our fans, our network, our other partners. Um, it really is a, a lot goes into this program and we truly do, um, you know, being New Jersey's only professional team, we take pride in, um, you know, being Jersey strong and supporting um, our local people. So, um, for this next screen that you guys see, it's a little bit about the process. Um, I don't know, Ashley, do you want to jump Sure, in? yeah, it's yeah. a very short and simple application. We ask you about your business, number of full-time employees, part-time employees, um, your social uh, channels, and it's a very simple um, fill-in question. So how, did, uh, how does your business engage with the community and how would being featured help your business to continue to make an impact in your community? So this is just a, a screenshot of the landing page for the contest. Um, it's a great opportunity to get exposure. Um, and then the winning companies receive a Jersey Shops kit. So a window decal, t-shirts, a special ticket link that you can share with your uh, employees and customers. Um, and then you're featured on the Jersey Shops landing page. So we have up to 50 businesses that are featured. And then of those 50 businesses, we have four grand prize winners. And each of those businesses receive a video vignette shot by the devils and promoted on the devils and uh, citizens social channels. So here we just have a picture. Um, a couple weeks ago, we had our latest winners um, video recorded at Prudential Center, uh, Pensito's food truck. And it was just a great experience. We had the food truck come out to Crew Center. Devils employees got to enjoy a great lunch and uh, citizens folks as well. Yeah, and so um, for this year, we we have two of our featured businesses here, Joanne's School of Dance out of Elizabeth, New Jersey, and then Pincito's Food Truck um, out of North Bergen um, here. So this is an example of for Joanne's School of Dance. We had one of her classes come out to a game, perform on the concourse. The video um, that we made, the vignette, was on the scoreboard. We post you on social, get a lot of engagement through LinkedIn, X, Facebook, everything you can think of, um, and just really promoting like this great pro like project and you know campaign that we work with citizens on, um, and then Pancitos, another completely different type of brand, you know, small business. It truly like we do love um, you know the humble beginnings stories, 
and how we're able to, you know, use our platform to um, bring brand awareness um, to these other companies around New Jersey. So very proud program to work on. Yes. So applications are available um, through the end of April. So um, if you guys are interested, definitely encourage you all to apply. Um, it's newjerseydevils.com slash jerseyshops. And um, good luck to all of you. Everybody got quiet, but if you've never <laughs> been to a New Jersey Devils game, I will tell you that it's a magnificent experience. That you like, you may have one point of view regarding the game, but that experience is unique. And I will ask George in front of everybody. Like, entertainment is something that many of our entrepreneurs don't budget for. But if you ever get uh, uh, tickets or anything, even with one hour before the game starts, we will be able to invite people. We really love to bring people for the first time to experience something because it's like the first kiss. It's something that nobody will forget, right? And we always tell the, the community, we need to be more diverse because if we are expecting people to be diverse, we are the ones who need to lead by example. We cannot expect people to come and try our food if someone, a Korean individual invite me to a restaurant and say, no, I don't eat Korean food. No, we need to be open to try new things. That's, an, that's like a different like level of show. You won't miss a minute because every second is like a script that something is happening. You need to look at one place and another. They always celebrate something. It's really fun. And when you start understanding a little bit of the game, you will enjoy because it's, it's very interesting, I will say. But I, I did have the opportunity uh, at my, my previous life, the institution that I was working for used to have a suite there. And, uh, you know, at the beginning, I didn't understand it, but I learned that it's not what we like, it's what people like. And you will have people that love to watch the game and to enjoy. And, you know, it's, it's a different experience. I will um, wish that everybody had that opportunity. Okay, now I, I will say, uh, Luis, really quickly, and to give credit to uh, my uh, ex uh, and, and Danilo and the team there that uh, once um, uh, we uh, engage and, and share this information uh, to them, you know, we have seen, um, and, uh, and Ashley and Alexa can uh, speak to this probably better than I can, we have seen an uptick um, in um, in responses from Latino-owned businesses, including uh, a networking event that we just had last week uh, focused on um, on women leadership. And we actually had uh, Heidel, you know, a member of your team, uh, show up uh, as one of our, one of our guests. Um, and, uh, so yeah, uh, uh, we have seen a, a fairly, um, nice, uh, response and uptick, you know, given, um, you know, the, uh, the collaboration, uh, uh, with you and, and the hope is, is that through that sort of networking, right. So the, the pregame, um, uh, the pregame reception, the event, and then the game itself, um, you know, there was 80 folks or so at the event last week, you know, we hope that there's direct connections that are made that lead to um, some tangible and ideally, you know, um, long term uh, business relationships. That's the whole idea. So we want to keep doing this. And we have just over a month or so right left in the uh, roughly in the, uh, uh, with this uh, initiative. And um, uh, we want to continue uh, with this specific sort of work and, and, and grow, grow from there with the chamber. I also want to share that I witnessed the entire like renaissance of Newark. When I started going to Newark, I was afraid to go out like after 4.30 p.m. Now I can park anywhere and walk through the Prudential Center and enjoy everything that is happening there because it's a lot of different activities. I also see that in a lot of the programming are uh, towards our community, and I really enjoy that. Sometimes even Goja has products there to offer. And, you know, it's, it's, if we take advantage of those opportunities, believe me, they will consider us. 
And we are here to do that, to open opportunities for us and for our members. I was at the gala that was at the, they has Corlin, I believe it was, and a lot of food. And I was invited by Horizon Blue Cross and Blue Shield, uh, but that was pretty good. Like I really enjoy, and as I say, be more open mind, try to attend to activities that you are not familiar with. You will enjoy, and all of the sudden you will see people wearing jerseys and from the devil, yo lo único que tengo son los cachos, pero. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. But uh, I can't, I, I, and I just really, uh, the last thing I would say, I can't understand how amazing a, par a partner New Jersey Devils, um, you know, ha has been. Um, you know, they, um, and, and I think it's just, you know, uh, this particular initiative is one of many illustrations of, um, of how active and deeply engaged uh, the, the New Jersey Devils and Harris Blitzer, the corporate, um, you know, parent, has been in a uh, better and sustaining their connection to the um to the latino community so uh, that has to be that has to be called out you know um in particular and they celebrate the veterans day i have that hat and it's like everybody that see it they want to sold that hat from me because it's very clever <laughs> and also yeah. remember our job every time that a door open for us we will keep that door open for our the veteran chamber the pride chamber the punjabi chamber the other minority chambers because yeah. they can no wait the 10 or 15 years that took us to be where we are right now. We want them to benefit from those opportunities too. And that's the other thing. The president of the, the Pride Chamber, New Jersey Pride, happened to be Latino. The, yeah. the president of the, the Veteran Chamber happened to be Hispanic too. I mean, more than 50% of the people that came back from the service in the past 10 years happened to be Latino. Right. Everybody's welcome. And as I say, our one of the things that I feel very proud is someone reached out to me after the out of being a mother Latina and told me, Luis, I cannot believe the energy and the welcoming and how people make me feel. Right? Yes, we can go to fancy venues, you can but we never will be able to surprise someone with lobster. But they will try pan de bonos or they will try empanadas or something simple, but if you are surrounded of good people you will create a memory forever. And, and that's what we are trying to do. Um, we That's why we always bring our vendors as part of the activities that we do. Uh, if you want to eat healthy, come to the health and wellness. If you are not focused on your weight, <laughs> come to the Hispanic Business Expo because we have like 17 food vendors. We have alcohol vendors. We have, but remember those opportunities uh, have been created in order for us to help our members to be able to reach out to the general market and to the corporations that support us. And we also welcome people that are trying to reach out to the Hispanic market to attend our events. I insist, this is not about hunting. This is about farming. Networking has three steps, step, visibility, credibility, and profitability. Come develop the relationships the people that we helped to build their credit seven years ago now are going to financial institutions to get a, a, a loan to purchase the building. But that didn't happen overnight. But if we didn't help them when they are growing, they never be able to do that. We do believe that the biggest financial opportunity or the, the best way for us as a community to build wealth is if part of our business owners purchase the building where they perform the business. Less than 10% of the minority business owners in the state own the, the commercial place where they perform the business. And that's a personal commitment that I made when I used to have black hair. Now, look, the background is, is, is just white. That's thanks to Aixa. Aixa, if you still here, but if not, and uh, no, thank you very much for the support. Anything that you need, we are very happy. We are also working very hard because the World Cup is coming to New Jersey on 2026. And at the Health and Wellness Expo and at the Hispanic Business Expo, we will have the, as today, the only soccer ball to promote the, the final on the 2026. Today is at the General Consulate of Mexico in New Brunswick, 
But if you want to come, take a picture with the scarf and with the with the soccer ball, feel free to come and, and do that. We are big on social media. And I mean, we have the, the students from Let's, they are more efficient than journalists. They can spread the word about everything that we are doing, uh, that we are supporting. Please contact the, the sponsors and the partners on social media and start developing the conversation. They notice that and they always talk to us about that. I don't know if you have any questions. If I don't have a problem to stay and answer questions, if someone wanna ask a question, I don't know if, or if George, Asli, if you have any other questions or is there any final thoughts that you have? I just wanna, I just wanna uh, tell people that on the chat, you can find very useful information. We have the contact information for Jorge, for George, and Ashley, um, uh, Alexa. Yep. Thank you for the presentation. It was great. Uh, you will find the link to Dirty Shops on the chat and a brief summary of today's meeting. Um, again, if you have any additional questions about citizens' presentation or the chambers, Danilo's presentation, contact Danilo. Um, mm. I think Daniela also included information on the chat about the programs and one of our virtual assistants also included the links to our upcoming events. Thank you so much. I think we're gonna repeat this soon. I think it went very well. Uh, the engagement was terrific. So thank you so much. And um, I'll see you in the next meeting and the next event. Before <laughs> we, I, I, is a question regarding who can become a vendor? If you use the Eventbrite links that have been shared on the chat, mm -hmm. all the details are there. We're open, like you don't need to be able to speak Spanish to yeah. attend any of our events. Most of the business owners, they do speak English. Now, yeah. when they, some of them, 60% of them, they will prefer to learn new subjects in Spanish. Meaning that when we are trying to teach something new, Many of the, that's why we always offer translation because we want to make sure we came from 17 different countries. Yeah. And it's not only the country of origin, it's the, the region from the country of origin, the level of acculturation, the county where we live. I mean, we have been working really hard to figure it out how we can deliver uh, the message to our communities. That's why we use a lot of um, social media, portals or outlets that allow us to pass the message to the communities. Because if like uh, Patterson is the city that has the most Peruvian people in the United States. I mean, if you are born in Patterson, you can get the dual citizenship immediately. But if you are trying to reach out to other communities, you need to do different things. And also, we do partner with the consulates. Uh, it's seven of them that are, have presence here in New Jersey that allow us to share the information that is important for the community that sometimes is nothing related with the business. But when we see that is something relevant for our community or for any community, we will share that. I was shocked because I went to a, a function and I identified people from Hispanic countries that they don't speak Spanish. They speak in the uh, languages, the indigenous languages like that I didn't know how to do it, but they have people that help us to spread the word, especially if you are, if we're trying to educate them in, in many different aspects, that's really important. But um, for us, it's really important to support the companies that support us because Many of the activities that we do, we do it for free or for no cost at the attendees, at our students, but the, that's only possible if we develop good relationship with the corporations that support us because we are a non-for-profit. We, we, we really need the resources to pay for it, right? But as I say, we cannot charge $10,000 to a student that is trying to improve their business 
we need the support from corporations, government agencies, and uh, a lot of people that help us in order for us to be able to do that. But at the end of the day, if the business owners improve their business, they will be able to do business with the corporations that partnered with us. Yeah, thank you, Luis. And um, yeah, as Luis and I said, I also wanted to express my gratitude for everybody joining this webinar. Uh, thanks to Citizens, also Citizens Bank, George, Ashley, and Alexa for joining us and hearing this information, great value information for our members in the community as well. I'm pretty sure some of our members will take advantage of this opportunity, if not all of them. Uh, some of the attendees have been asking if the information is going to be shared. We have recorded this um, webinar, so we will share that information via our by, uh, our email blast. And also we will include the link from Jersey Shops um, with the link to apply as well. So it will be also distributed uh, via uh, email blast as well. So thank you everybody for joining us tonight and see you in the next event. Hopefully, in, in person event. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Wish you mañana que es Viernes Santo. Yeah. <laughs>